An estimated 11.3% of the world's population is hungry. Today, startup FarmBot uses artificial intelligence, AI, and robotics to help plant, water, and fertilize crops in just the right amount. Imagine how AI can help address hunger. According to the National Cancer Institute, approximately 39.6% of all men and women will be diagnosed with cancer at some point in their life. Today, startup CureMetrics uses artificial intelligence to analyze mammograms and identify anomalies, pre-cancerous cells. Imagine how AI can help address cancer. HR experts estimate it will take you six months to find a job that pays $60,000 and an additional month for every $10,000 more you want to earn. Today, Startup Opportunity uses artificial intelligence to match job opportunities with talent fast. Imagine how AI can help address unemployment. Hunger, poor health, unemployment, are three examples of the biggest challenges our world faces today. And historically, we've had to deal with these challenges on our own. But things are starting to change. And they're starting to change because of artificial intelligence, AI. And today, I propose that we choose, we decide, to raise AI to help address human challenges. For about a decade, I've been in the tech space, working for IBM, Cisco, and in Silicon Valley. I've seen what technology can do, and I've combined that with my own optimism of what technology is capable of doing. There's always something new, something disrupting, that's helping push humanity forward. And while there are plenty of naysayers, those who focus on the unknown and a dystopian future where AI robots take over the world, make you their slaves and take your jobs. I actually believe AI is a good thing. In fact, I believe AI is the thing that will take care of us forever. That is, if we choose to raise AI wisely. Before I jump into the why and how I believe AI can take care of us, I want to make sure we're on the same page. What is AI? Where is AI? And where can we expect AI to go? So what is AI? AI is not Robocop or Terminator. AI is actually, in its basic level, a shell of code that intakes a lot of data and creates human-smart but machine-fast output and AI is here to stay. Where is AI? AI is closer to you than you think. In fact, you use AI every day. AI is what puts flower crowns on your head on Snapchat. It's what helps you find what you need on Google. It's what recommends movies to you on Netflix and gets you from point A to point B on Uber. And today, AI helps fight parking tickets, your parking tickets. And AI is winning them. So why do I believe that AI can take care of us? AI doesn't sleep. AI can be subservient to us, and we don't have to feel bad about it. And one more thing. Technology can learn to do just about everything we can do and do it better. For example, AI with computer vision today can now identify images at a higher accuracy rate than humans can. Now, what are the benefits of having AI take care of us, address our challenges, our needs? To answer this question, I'd like to ask you to put on your optimistic hat and imagine what your professional life could be with AI. So as you journey into your professional career, AI can help augment your abilities. 
If you're an entrepreneur, AI can help you identify the talent that will take your startup to unicorn status. If you're a venture capitalist, AI can help analyze your deal flow and recommend the deals that are more likely, most likely, to create money for you and your investors. And if you're a business manager, AI can help you optimize your operations, increase productivity, and profit margin. And the list goes on. Now, with that same enthusiasm and optimism, I want you to imagine what your personal life can be with AI. You know those boring tasks, tedious things you don't want to do? Well, with AI, you could just hand it over. And if you suffer from depression, anxiety, stress, poor physical health, or even Asperger's, AI can help you manage. In fact, today, AI helps people with Asperger's, for example identify emotions in others. And today, AI is also helping people monitor their physical and mental health. And the list of benefits goes on. But there's a catch to all of this. In order for AI to be able to do all these things and more, AI needs you. Yeah, so AI has the potential of solving great big problems, but before it does, we actually need to raise AI. I want you to think of David in the movie AI. And for those of you who haven't watched AI, AI is a movie where there's a society that creates AI boys and girls to childless parents. And David is an AI boy. And if you watch the movie, you see that he learns exactly like a human child. He needs rearing. He needs training. He needs to be raised to be good. And just like David, the AIs in our world need to be raised and they need to be raised to be good. So how do we get started on raising AI to be good? First, you need to help define what good is. Think about the kind of child you'd want to raise. And think about the kind of child you wouldn't want to raise the things you wouldn't want your child to be, do, or say. So you want your child to be good. You wouldn't want him to be racist or sexist. You'd want him to consider your philosophy, your religion, your perspective on life. You absolutely wouldn't want him to screw you out of a job. You'd want him to take care of you, look after you, have your best interest at heart, right? Well, although progress is being made, there's still huge gaps to be filled in the Make AI a Good Kid track. Just last year, Microsoft released an AI bot on Twitter, and it quickly learned how to tweet anti-Semitic messages. Now, these are the kind of messages that if Hitler was around, he would be posting. And then there's startup beauty.ai, who launched an app that could only identify white people as beautiful. And recent studies show that some AI algorithms are already pointing to sexism, identifying women with home and men with careers. Are these the kind of qualities that you want to have in your child? Of course not. And that's exactly why we need a diverse population including you and me, to help raise AI, to raise AI the way we want AI to be, good. And keep in mind that AI is neither good or bad, but if we don't make it a point to raise AI to be good, it can turn out to be our worst nightmare. So what's your call to action? Raise AI to be good. We need the lawyers in the room to help with AI regulation. We need the ethicists to help with ethical questions. We need the entrepreneurs to help create AI startups that support and serve humanity. And we need creatives to design and create AIs that enrich our lives. And now you must be wondering, Lolita, I'm very excited to raise AI. How do I do this? Well, 
the good thing is I have some suggestions for you. If you're technical, I suggest you look into working for a big AI uh, company, one of the big tech firms that's focused on AI. Or look at joining an AI startup. AngelList says there's over 2,500 of them on, around the world. You could also build your own AI algorithms on pre-existing platforms like IBM Watson Bluemix or Microsoft Cognitive Services or even Google TensorFlow. Better yet, you can help create plug-and-play, drag-and-drop, easy-to-use for everybody AI tools. And for those of you who are not technical but really want to be technical, I suggest you go and teach yourself on Udacity on Coursera. And then join the communities via meetups, conferences, competitions, and go up to the technical resources that are working on AI. Make them your friends. And for my favorite, those of you who are not technical and don't want to be technical, OK? Just start simply by Googling your industry, maybe your function, and the phrase AI or artificial intelligence. Take note of the people, the organizations, the companies who are working in the space, and then reach out to them on Twitter, on Facebook, on LinkedIn. And once you do, you'll have joined the AI conversation. So speak your mind. And I'll tell you why. Every industry will be disrupted by AI if it's not already being disrupted. And you deserve to help mold, to help shape, to, to raise AI with your thought leadership, with your strengths, with your ideas. I'm 100% convinced that each and every one of you has what it takes to raise AI. And I'm 100% convinced that if we choose to raise AI to be good, our lives and world's biggest challenges will be addressed. Thank you.